All right, everybody, welcome back to another Pizza video. This one's probably gonna be a bit late because I was spending some time with my mom. Anyways, so new update came out, and uh, I was right on the money for the second time. Uh, it is a new heist. Um, already, someone tried to spoil it for me. <coughs> Universe, um, Universe tried to already spoil it for me. So you know that's great. Anyways, let's uh, just get right into uh, the text here. A trip to Hell's Island. That's the name of the the heist. Follow Rachel Ribs from CNM News as she continues her investigation into the mysterious USB device she received yesterday. It seems it contains some strange files that have uh, spe spe spared her in sparred. I don't know. Sparrow, it speak, it piqued her interest. Something is not quite right, but her sharp eye has picked up on a clue that may blow this case wide open. More info at CNM News. So let's hop right into there as we go into day two. So, uh, new song out from Lee Castlevania. Confirm Thrills. It's a new song from uh, Lee Castlevania, who is. The, um, he's going, <coughs> his song will be featured in today's update, so that's nice. Uh, bookmark URL, Knowledgepedia for Clatsop Prison. I'm guessing this is the heist that we're taking a look at. Um, there is no other thing else to, like, do here. Though there's probably, like, some sort of secret, like, thing that you press. Anyways, for, uh, Clatsop Prison. Just gonna call it that. For uh, the only library of knowledge, before this prison was founded in 1902 and is located off the coast of northern Oregon, initially built to house mental patients, it transformed into a real prison in 1917. Up until the early years of World War II, it held a reputation of being a sought-after prison for those incarcerated across the country. Often prisoners were treated well and food uh, standards were above average. The reason for this credited to the warden at the time, Oscar the Pope Anderson. Hmm. So that, is that a ghost reference? I don't know. Who had seen the mistreatment of prisoners at prior locations when he was made warden of the prison. His primary objective was to keep a civil atmosphere and a human treatment of inmates. After the events of Pearl Harbor during World War II, Japanese POWs were held captive at Fort, uh, the prison. The facility was condemned by the military and warden was replaced by an army captain during the next several years. The prison earned the infamous nickname Hell's Island and it gained a reputation as one of the worst World War II POW camps in the world. Overall, the treatment of Japanese soldiers was torture-like and many POWs died from uh, Malaration. After the war, the prison was closed down and has remained abandoned since. Okay, so we got a few images here, uh, looking looking kind of cool. There's an air vent there. I don't know why they would have that. Um, so is it refurbished? Because there's like cameras and stuff. So, and this was like during World War Two. But it's been abandoned ever since, but after the... It was it was abandoned after the war, but there's, like, cameras and air vents. Like, do they just, like... Is it, like, as, like, a... Like a... I don't know, like... Is it for, like, touring or whatever? So this is the picture of, like, a prison with the knife right there. And, uh, some other things, probably. I uh, will close on that. Why image of a prison on USB? Research... A uh, knife from photo Japanese POWs. Audio file Rachel's pair phone recorded call. Let's take a listen. Hello. Hello, Congressman Simmons. May I ask who's calling? My name is Rachel Riggs. I'm with CNM News. Hello, Miss Riggs. Yes, I know who you are. The piece you did on the president last year was very interesting. Well, thank you, sir. I was wondering if I might- Tell me, Miss Riggs, do you like cupcakes? Excuse me? There's a bakery you should visit, Kozak's. They make excellent pastries. 
You might find what you're looking for there. Wait, Dr. Hellman? I'm sorry, Miss Riggs. Congressman Simmons is currently unavailable. What? O okay, but... Have a pleasant evening, Miss Riggs. <laughs> what a bastard. So they actually brought the voice actor back, yeah. Ooh, this is shaping up. I'm I'm excited. I, I'm glad that they actually brought the guy who played the dentist back to uh, do the character. This means uh, it's going to be more genuine, I think. Investigate Korzak Bakery connection between Hillman and Simmons. Uh, audio file police recording dot wave. Hello? Look, I don't know what you're trying to pull. I fulfilled my end of the bargain. But you obviously had other plans in mind. You very well know what happened to your precious box. Now, where is Bane? Mr. Simmons will have to be released, and I imagine he is not a happy boy scout. Don't you threaten me, sir. I will take you down no matter who you pertain to know. You better believe I have backup with me. So, that was, from what I remember correctly, early from this year. Uh, that is the Skeptic Guy audio. Commissioner Garnet in the recording. Who was he talking to? Boxes Bane. That's not really... A problem for us because we know that's Commissioner Garnet. We know who he's talking to. He's talking to, uh, you know, the organization who I've already forgot their name because I don't give a damn about them. And boxes being the Illuminati boxes and Bane, of course, obviously being the guy who runs CrimeNet. Also, we got an email from Simmons uh, from News. Oh, okay, hold on. So, this is an email uh, from Alan uh, Beck, Subject Simmons. Hi, Alan. Um, so, I checked the USB stick that someone left on my desk. There is some very weird stuff on it. I didn't think much of it until I tried to research Congressman Simmons on the phone and someone else answered. Don't want to write too much here. I would rather talk live, but I do want to pursue this further. R. So she's going to die. <laughs> uh, her pursuing it forward may get her killed. Oh, so that's the gun. The S SG. <laughs> People were thinking it was some, like, name to, like, a character. Which, uh, again, it could be very... It could. It could. Um, I can't remember exactly what the name was. Um, but there was a name that people were speculating, but it turns out to be the gun. Remember to check up on the report from Gabrielle about the smugged guns. Check the manufacturer. And that's all we have for today. Um, so let's uh, hop back right over here. The M13 pistol and Tanto knife. Tanto, I don't know. I thought we already had this knife somewhere in the game. Like, wasn't that one of Wick's weapons? Who knows. On top of her, uh, excuse me. Uh, on top of her investigation in the USB, Rachel has also caught uh, wind of a shipment of guns being smuggled into the country. Her info points towards a shipment of pistols, a rare kind not often seen among heisters. The M30 pistol is a small concealable pistol that can easily be used in stealth and crit builds. Along with a Tonto knife, you can hide your arsenal from the prying eyes of guards and civilians. So, we have ourselves a new stealth pistol that either will be uh, good or bad. Um, I'm not a huge expert on crit builds. Um, I usually combine that with like dodge builds. So it could be very well a good pistol. Who knows? Uh, moving on from that, uh, we got Hell's Island as Rachel is swimming out in deep waters. The pay to gain is, ga uh, is gearing up for a new job. Log has finally gotten a lead on Bane's location and it's up to the game to get him back. Suit up, lock and load, you won't be sneaking in here. We go in loud and get Bane back. Let's just hope we make it in this in time. Um, now, of course, people, again, were trying to, trying to spoil it for me. Thank goodness that I uh, hit um, 
ignore all notifications on Steam because I don't want to get spoiled. Um, but who knows? Maybe Bane is in here. Who knows? Anyways, the next one. Confirm thrills. To go along with the new heist, we have, brand, uh, we have a brand new track from Lee Castlevania. Who did some of the tracks uh, before, like Infinite Ammo, um, a few other songs. Confirm, Confirm Thrills is a song I wrote to fuse together the sound of my two different music projects. It has a great electrical sound and floor on uh, four on the floor beat of Lee Castlevania as well as the more urban bass sound of my other alias, Twin Moons. This is my first time fusing these sounds together in, the, in this way. I'll be having as much fun shooting things to this song as I had making it. So I actually said something. That's cool. And then, of course, if you're missing out on the main game, which I still don't know why they have the they don't have the other game at a discount, um, you can go grab them. Also, in uh, general fixes for the today, I fixed an issue that allowed player under level sixty to enter crime spree, which is uh, not good because you're supposed to be like level I think a hundred, or you're supposed to get like infamy before you can even do that. Um, anyways, so I'm going to hop into the heist. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick live stream, hopefully, of it. I just have to finish this video, get it all ready, and uh, hop in. So again, thank you for watching. Hopefully, see you guys on the stream. Hopefully, nothing breaks on the stream, but very, you know, knowing very well uh, how things go, it might break. Also, I... I'm sorry if, like, the thumbnails aren't looking great as, like, they usually do. Um... Overkill has basically made a lot of the images only website, like only Google Chrome. So I have no way of opening them. The only way I can open them is through Google. So uh, the thing that I use to edit photos with um, cannot read that file. So that's why things are looking a bit downgraded and stuff. So hopefully you guys understand. Anyways, we're going to be hopping into the heist and uh, hopefully have a good time. So anyways, oh, by the way. Uh, thank you for the po po um, the people who are posting comments. I do read some of them. Um, I just have a system of like responding and replying to them. So if I do reply late, that's why. Um, but again, thank you for all the comments who uh, that that have been coming in. Um, like the photo that showed me where the cupcakes are, and it's the diamond. Uh, furthering our point that it is the dentist. Um, so yeah. Anyways, again, thank you guys for uh, watching, and um, yeah, it's nice to, I kind of want to leave this at a quick note here. It's nice to know that, like, Payday's kind of getting back on track with some stuff, you know, because I remember, like, during the time where it was the diamond, like, we all were speculating, wait a minute, what does the glasses mean? Then it's like, oh, well, it could, you know, just mean the curse and everything, but we clearly know now that that had more meaning back then, um... And is, you know, the scope of it is wider uh, ever, you know, ever more now. So, anyways, again, thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys hopefully on the stream. If you don't, I will be making a video tomorrow uh, demonstrating my thoughts on the heist and the gun. Uh, don't worry. It's not like one of those videos where it's like a quick update on something small, like on the website and everything. So, yeah. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. And uh, see you guys on the next uh, video. So, yeah. See you on the stream, hopefully.